Hey everyone, this is Frickle Panda here with a review of my 2014 new used Forest River Flagstaff hard sided pop up camper. I purchased this maybe a month, month and a half ago. And you can see right here, I'm going to put it up. This is probably, honestly, probably the second time I've actually put it up. The first time was at the dealership. And even the first time, it didn't, I mean, the second time, it was still pretty easy. In all honesty, this. Uh, camper takes maybe two minutes to put up on a bad day I and I can tell you because even though I'm making this video now I've actually taken it camping by this point uh, a couple times in the and it's been windy it's been rainy and I've had no problems putting it up it's actually really easy to put up but the first time are you know you're learning how to do it but it's just pretty simple and someone ask, uh, may ask me well can a smaller person or a smaller uh, woman put it up and, it's, and that's an honest question. That's a good, a good question. And yes, they can. I was showing my wife um, how to put it up, and she's um, more on the petite side and everything like that. And it is not hard. And I showed her the video how to put up, which I kept. I watched and watched a couple of times on YouTube uh, where the lady was putting it up and down uh, for the actual dealership or the manufacturer of this one. The weight of this is about 1,900 pounds, uh, probably about 2,400 pounds uh, actually loaded, 20 to 20. I can't remember, see a 20 gallon or 26 gallon uh, water tank in it. As you see, there's the, uh, the secondary bed, which actually turns into a dinette. It has four cushions and they actually will turn into a dinette set. And there's the large uh, mattress right there, which is also heated. It's got a stereo, microwave, a three way refrigerator, uh, a three burner stove, sink with hot water, uh, it runs on propane, of course and a heater and also air conditioning and i don't remember did i mention it? a microwave so with that being said and of course plenty of lights and i also put lights in it one thing i'll say say about the refrigerator which i've used i don't really like it that much it's the medic it's nothing wrong with it i just have my own personal refrigerator freezer that's portable that uses less energy and also gets things quicker i excuse me gets things colder quicker or even freezing if you want it, it has an overhead fan um, that uh, actually takes air out so it keeps that a hot air out I have ran this actually on my blue eddy um, which it can run not the microwave or the air conditioner it will not run that but you could technically run the fan on it and the air can uh, the refrigerator uh, which takes too much energy to run it on that you better off running it on propane plenty of storage uh, underneath the cushions underneath the bed you know all that good stuff now getting back to the actual refrigerator itself I'm gonna take my other one with me I just like it better it's easier to monitor and also I like to have cold drinks in the vehicle with me and it sips on power off of my Blue Eddy and that would be my set power um, refrigerator. I'll leave a link in the description for that. As you can see right here, I'm going to put the actual uh, mattress, the bed up and like I said, this um, and turn it into a dinette set and like I said, I have not done this that many times by the time I'm actually recording, I had recorded this video. So I'm learning a little bit on this, on this, doing this this way. And with that being said, you can actually take the table outside. And I can tell you, honestly, I have used the table outside. I actually did a review of a product a company sent me, and I utilized the table as the what uh, where I set up the actual product. And I really do enjoy you can take this table out. And then, again, at the end of the night, use it as a secondary bed if you need it, if you've got someone else with you. It sleeps four people, and that's talking about four adult people. Um, if you're a family, you know, you get like three kids on there, uh, more than likely little kids, um, on that side. And I actually, with this, I tow with a Kia Sportage, a Sportage, a Kia Sorento 2016 turbo. It's the EX. It's a two cylinder. You can tow 3,500 pounds. I have no issues with it towing. So I'm going to get on here. There's always someone that wants to tell you what it can and can't do. It can tow it. It, it tows it with ease. And I live in Colorado where a lot of naturally aspirated, um, uh, engines will struggle going up uh, mountains and I've taken it several times already up to the mountains by the time of this video going camping and stuff no problems it does not even have to stay in the slow lane I can easily keep up with traffic when I want to now one thing I did do with the Kia is I put airbags on it so the airbags were like around $120 on Amazon I went on the Kia forums and that's what they said to do I bought them and then I has I can put them on but I'd rather have them done professionally it cost me an extra 150 bucks or so to have a four-wheel drive place put the bags on it took them about an hour it takes away the sag because uh, Sorrentos have softer shocks on them for more comfort so which makes it sag in the back which I actually went towing the first time without the airbags it did not affect the driving I just didn't like the look of it sagging in the back you know 
as you can see right here, as I say, it weighs about 2,200 pounds. I'm really, really liking this. Um, uh, 2,400 actually loaded. I like the front where I can actually put my e-bikes in there and I actually put a storage right there. It has two propane and a deep cycle battery right there, which is 12 volt. Um, and plug into my 12 volt system, my Kia Sport, uh, Sorento, so you can drive and charge the batteries and all that good stuff. I do have a solar panel. I'm trying to figure out how I want to mount it. If I do want to mount it, you know, it has an outdoor shower with uh, cold hot water hookups and all that. Uh, you can use propane to make hot water, which is really cool. So I really like that. Uh, plenty of light. All the uh, windows on the sides have screens in them, so you can actually open up and get cross breezes, which I think is really cool. Um, uh, what was it i was going to say was it has jacks on each four corners so to help it stabilize it when you're parked and all that good stuff my old pop-up camper did not have that you never saw it because before i started doing youtube i got rid of that pop-up i decided i was going to get an rv and the rv life wasn't for me i was also really young and i don't know why i was thinking getting an uh, rv at that age because it didn't really interest me to be honest with you so I ended up getting rid of my old pop-up. So I've had pop-ups before, and I've been honestly towing trailers since my teens. Uh, and I tow trailers a lot heavier than this right here. Um, so this isn't a big deal. You can see my Ford Edge parked in front of it. Now, the Ford Edge will not tow it. It doesn't even have a tow hitch on it. It's just parked there. It's just a, um, even though I have a hitch lock on the front and, and all that stuff, it's just an added uh, thing for security. You know, I don't want it stolen. And I live in a great area, but you never know. You know, nowadays you don't know. So it's just parked there basically. So someone couldn't, you know, pull up one night and take off of my pop-up. You know, the pop-up will not be staying at my house. It um, will actually probably be going, it won't probably, it will be going to my son's house who lives in Castle Rock who has an HOA, but they're more cool about the uh, actual pop-ups. There you can see the airbags right there. They were pretty simple. You can fill them up to 35 PSI or not. It depends on you. Um, you want it but it does lift it as you can see right there it does add lift in the back to my actual vehicle um like i said the kia sorento it has no issues towing this at all i do not have a weight distribution hitch or anything like that and have no problems i've, I've flown up mountains so it's not been any issue this is me actually at saint Vrain state park as you can see there is the actual propane outdoor grill that i actually have used Oh, and I never said, I bought this from an actual uh, dealership that uh, specializes in campers and stuff like that. So we paid about $11,000 cash out the door uh, for this. It came with a one-year warranty, um, came with a bunch of extra stuff. I got rid of the generator, made about a quick 200 bucks. I did not like the generator because the generator came with was, was, was a cheap Chinese one, to be honest with you, and it was loud. And I didn't want to be that guy when I did go to like RV parks and state parks like I was at with the noisy generator if i'm going to get one i'm going to get a honda or something that's nice and quiet uh, i was proud of myself because i got it actually running because it didn't run and probably been sat, sitting forever and sold for 200 bucks on facebook marketplace so it was a good thing you see it's uh it's black it has some extra like uh um i don't know like a extra piece in the back where maybe i could put some uh gas or a generator mounted and all this all the black you see on it actually painted it because it was like uh, more of an aluminum color like on the front and it looked kind of cheap. So I use some old uh, Rhino liner. I have uh, like bed and truck bed liner for my old bed, uh, my old uh, Ram 1500 to clean it up and make it black. Anyway, this is Frugal Panda. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope this gives some people out there ideas. Um, and we're having fun with this. I highly recommend the, 20, uh, the Flagstaff Forest River is the hard side of it. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Frugal Panda out.